Just ahead on Nine News Now, a taste of the South. Chef Natalie Dupree will share a scrumptious recipe for shrimp and grits straight from her new cookbook. We'll be right back. Grits have long been a center southern cooking staple, and now there's an entire cookbook dedicated to the southern staple. It's called Natalie Dupree's Shrimp and Grits. Natalie Dupree's here with us now. You can see her book there, and of course, we're going to have a link to her website and all her information on our website in a moment. All right, I'm Wish we had smell a vision today. It smells fabulous. You're talking to a woman that can't eat anything till after her doctor's appointment. So, what is a grits? What is a this grit? Made of? There is no such thing as one grit. Okay. Grits is uh, <laughs> plural, like oatmeal. Okay. But uh, grits is ground corn. Oh, that's all. That's it. it looks like These sand. are quick grits, which I which I like because I'm lazy, but I don't like instant grits. There's a difference between quick That's and instant. That's right. And okay. then there's also a stone ground, which takes a lot longer. Okay. And then here I have certified wild American shrimp. All right. Which means that they were caught in the Gulf or the Atlantic uh -huh. by, you know, a man or a woman that was, uh, whose family has probably been doing it for generations. Like Bubba Gump. Well, yeah, maybe so. <laughs> and, you know, one of those boats that has those lovely things. All right. And uh, they just taste, that's why it smells so good in here. Yeah, they smell it doesn't and smell taste fishy at all. So much better. Yeah. But, right. And uh, so they're not imported, they're not pond rain. So you just have a little in, bit of butter in the skillet? Well, not exactly a little bit. Well, a lot. Yeah, right. So and good. I'm just stirring. And then you just cook the shrimp until they turn pink. Okay. This is the traditional, what we call breakfast shrimp, because people used to catch, go out and catch shrimp in the morning. Right. And then uh, have it poured over their grits and have the grits cooking. I and, like that. Um, what do you with cook a lot of butter. in? This milk or cream? Yeah, or? I'm cooking them in milk. Okay. Of course, if, this is for the family, but if it was for some other reason, I would certainly um, add cream. Uh -huh. Not adverse to it. And one of the dishes <laughs> over there has cream and Parmigiano Reggiano. Wow. And uh, that's really terrific. They have a consistent. I thought originally that this was mashed potatoes before because I'm a moron. But I mean, it's thick like mashed, but someone that doesn't know anything about grits. You can have them any <sighs> consistency you want. You know, you can make them, um, you can make them uh, thick or, or thin. One of them is runny because we're going to use it. You can use it as a dip. You can use it as a main course for dinner. You can, okay. We don't have it just for breakfast anymore. Any time of day. Aren't those beautiful? They look great. Let me I'm dying just to try some. reach over you and pour this on top of my grits. Oh. And that's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You see how easy it is? Yes. And you can, um, you can have a, uh, serve that with fresh herbs if you want to or whatever. And here's my grits. Okay, the, the grits take how long if they're not instant? And About just six minutes. So I'm just going to keep stirring. You've seen it over there. Yeah. And uh, I They'll was eventually, they it. Thick, is it like pudding? It thickens as it cools? It's like a tapioca or something like that. Okay. It thickens as, well, it thickens in the pot, but it also thickens as it cools. Now tell me about your book. You have recipes oh, centered all around 60, grits? All around shrimp and grits. We have uh, a few desserts with like peaches and things like mm. that in there when you use it like maybe tapioca or something. Okay. But by and large, it's shrimp and grits, which is very popular all over the coast. Okay. And all over for people that really love American shrimp. Now, you are from Virginia. We have to point that well, out. Well, I grew so up native. Right near here, but uh -huh. I grew up when you could ride a bicycle on Shirley Highway. <laughs> really, my husband, my husband, my father brought home my bicycle on Shirley Highway. Oh, wow. I remember Times it. Times have changed, huh? Yes, so it was, uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, then I graduated from Mount Vernon High School. Well, we're happy to have you back, at least for visiting us. What, uh, what, what's the most interesting grit recipe that you have? Would you say kind of crazy? Well, I, my favorite one is, oh, well, my crazy one is this one, which is right when the you front here. cool the grits. They make a little patty and you And you spread it out on a sheet, and then you make a little patty. You cut out little rounds or little triangles uh -huh. or something, and you can make a sandwich. And then top it with, once again, that beautiful wild American shrimp. Love it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, hello. I've joined and, you, and, yes. And, over uh, here now. some, uh, um, bacon and tomatoes and it's a little hors d'oeuvre or it's really all of this is really kind of to get those of you that don't know nothing no, about no, grits, <laughs> grits and grit seafood well, I thought to I do knew something about yeah. grits but I never heard of grits as a dip oh yes I you can put your um, right tortilla chips into it you really? will not believe it I've got Parmigiano Reggiano in there and in better days I add spinach 
Well, yes. <laughs> if you know where your spinach right, is coming from, right, then right, you can right, still right, add the right, spinach. Right. I've been watching you for years on television. Yes. Natalie was there before the Food Network became right. famous cooking. How did you get started? Uh, well, it, uh, I, someone came to me and asked me to do a television. I used to be on CBS on... Um, on uh, that little five-minute right, sure, tip. Yes, and yes. then, and then uh, someone came to me and asked me to do a public television show, and so I was writing a book, Absolutely. and so I did. I didn't know what I was doing, <laughs> but I loved it. And I've always believed in going live to You've tape. You've done very well not knowing what you're doing, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to stress again, you have a choice. Bye, local, yeah. in everything. In everything. Yeah. We, yeah. We've learned that, we've but learned bye, that. certified wild American shrimp. Well, All we're right. going to taste this. Andrea will taste it I will it taste for right you. Back. And, and we'll uh, be checking in with Wall Street, correct? Yes, we will. I'll have a look uh, at Wall Street, and Kim's going to have a look at the seven-day forecast. So stick around. It's 9.50, <laughs> coming up on 9.53. Here we go.